Well, we've had third party options. I think our two party system has served us well. I think that um, generally is the way our democracy operates. I'd like, to, I'd like to point out that I think the biggest economic problem we face long term is our education, our K through 12 education. If we, if, we, if we can reform that and change it around choice, I think uh, there's, the sky's the limit uh, for the United States, and I think the, there's a looming problem with Canada that you're missing. If we do Hillary care or socialized medicine, Canadians will have no place to go to get their health care. <laughs> was your first debate? How did it feel? Just like home. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't say which kind of home. Do you regret waiting so long? No, I don't think I waited too long. Oh, it seems about right to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, enjoyed, I've, I've enjoyed watching these fellas. I got to admit, it was getting a little boring without me, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad to be here now. Our thanks to the audience today, our thanks to the candidates. Thank Certainly, thank you very much. Thank you. And that brings our debate to a close. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to see the Democratic candidates in a similar setting, they will have their chance for debate on October in Philadelphia. Our thanks to the Michigan Republican Party, the Ford Performing Arts Center, the University of Michigan Dearborn, and our partners, John Harwood of CNBC and Jerry Seib of the Wall Street Journal from Dearborn, Michigan tonight. Good night, everybody.